say something and um, that I am no way, shape, or form um, a certified ASC mechanic. And today we're going to change the oil on a 2005 Chevy Malibu. So come along with me and we'll, we'll see what we can do. And I'll start by showing you some of the tools we're going to need and some of the equipment. Alright, let's get started. You can use jack stands, you can use a jack to lift your car to change the oil, you know, and you can use the, the wheel blocks to, or the wheel chucks, whatever you want to call them, to uh, put behind the wheels make sure it's safe. You know, just, just, you can do all that stuff and it's really good instead of using car ramps, but I wouldn't recommend using a curb. Um, I wouldn't recommend using uh, concrete blocks or anything like that, you know, it's just safe just to use the stuff, uh, use the equipment that's designed to hold up a car. And, you know, just always try to be safe and smart about it. And um, don't ever crawl underneath the car just with the jack being the only thing that's holding it up in the air. That's not a that's not very good. It's not very safe. You know, you're just looking for an accident to happen. And um, like I say, you get the car in the air on the jack stands and everything. Make sure you block the wheels. If you ain't got no chucks, then go ahead and uh, use some wood or find something. You know, to block it. Something that's that you think is going to be adequate. You know. So, all right. I just wanted to make a quick note and add that. Just be safe and be smart. First you're going to need the oil pan, your oil filter, a wrench, a socket, and the brand of oil that you like to choose. I'm not even going to come close to even going into what kind of weights or what kind of brands best or anything like that. I'm sure all you guys would know far better than me. Uh, same thing with the oil filter. Um, what brand you use, it's all up to you. Now this here is, going, is a 32 millimeter socket because this is the four cylinder and the, this is going to take the cartridge that goes inside of it. I won't actually be changing the whole uh, metal part that you'll see. I'll show you when we get to it. And this of course the 15 millimeter wrench is going to be for the drain plug. And obviously you know what the oil pan's for. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, I'm up underneath the car and I've put the drain pan underneath the oil pan and now I'm going to take the bolt out. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Should be on that tight. Whenever you pull out the oil plug, take a look at it. Some of them's got the magnetic on the end of it, and you can um take a look at it to see if there's a bunch of metal shavings. All right, we're gonna let that drain. Let it all drain out. Oh, and it also helps to have the car warmed up. The oil will drain a lot faster. And I should have pointed out earlier, I'm parked up on top of uh, car ramps. So just make sure it's really safe. Make sure you got your wheels chalked, or, your, or at least your wheels chalked. But put your emergency brake on, and just take all the safety precautions, and try to wear safety glasses while you're up underneath here. You don't want stuff dropping in your eye. And just make sure you stay vigilant about staying alive. All right. Looks like a lot of the oil is drained out. And it feels pretty good. I'm gonna clean off the oil plug after I checked it, and I didn't see no metal shavings. Look pretty good. Now I'm gonna put this back on. If you'll notice, I'm wearing gloves now. I should have been wearing gloves to begin with. Getting this oil on you and stuff is not healthy and it's not good. So just try to be safe got all sorts of nasty stuff in it that can good for your car but bad for your skin. So I'm going to tighten that up. When you tighten these up, just bring them up snug. You know, kind of. I like to do it to where, you know, as long as the threads are clean. If a, After it tightens up um, finger tight, I just bring it a little bit past that little snugger. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Right about there is where I like to do it. Wipe it again. Make sure it's cleaned off. Underneath this car is pretty clean, but other cars, I would uh, wipe it off anyway. And I'd clean up this area really good, and it just helps to detect leaks after you're done and you double check your job, you know, and make sure you ain't got nothing dripping and pouring out or something. So, alrighty. Looks like we're good to go. Alright, let's move to the top. My gloves are dark. I should get white ones. 
right here. We're going to take this cap off. And underneath that cap is going to be the oil um, cartridge or filter. We're going to change it out. And see if I can do this without making a mess. There we go. Try to use my other hand so you guys can see. Make sure you wiped off the top of the motor and everything else to make sure when you pull this uh, cap off that you don't get debris that's fallen down inside there. So I've wiped it off before I turned on the camera. I guess I could have showed you guys that. And just pull it out kind of gingerly. Be gentle. Less mess you got to clean up. And there it is. There it is, right there. Alrighty. Let's head over for the bench. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put the new filter inside the canister or inside the, the cap, I guess, basically what you can call it. And make sure you put your new O-ring on. All right, it looks like the same size. Looks good. Got me a little bit of oil here to put on the new oil ring, so I can make sure I don't put a dry oil ring on. I'm going to find a little groove here. There it is. Slide the screwdriver underneath. That's the way I do it. I'm not sure about your guys' preference. And I'm just going to pull it off. Pull out the old filter. Check for junk. It doesn't look bad. Alright, let's put the new oil filter on. Or, sorry, put the new O ring on. You do it like this, or put it all over the lid, whatever way you want to, it don't matter. Get on there! Really? Oh, really? There we go. Really? Just make sure you don't... If you do it this way, just make sure you don't gouge that rubber seal. And there we are. Let's put the new one in. <laughs> and just plug her in. Ah, oh, did you hear that click? Sounds good. So I guess we can go put her on the car now. Well, he's going to be doing good just a second. See you at the car. Bye-bye. Alright, back to the car now. Gonna go ahead and put in the oil cartridge. Being gentle not to injure it in any way. I'm just gonna bring this down hand tight, as tight as I can get with my fingers. Take that 32. I'm going to bring tighten it down, going to the right, about another quarter turn. So I'm going to take my wrench, I'm going to mark my spot right here. So I'm going to come over to about right here. I'm going to clean the oil off. And I double checked and made sure my oil plug was in my... Uh, drain pan in the bottom. Wipe everything off really good so we don't get no smoke to show. Now we're going to add some oil. Pull the cap off. 
Oh, and you can also a lot of times look on your oil caps, not on all cars, but on some cars. Like this one says, uh, say, 5W30. So I know this car takes 5W30. Always try to stick to the oil that, you know, that your car is uh, required to have. It's the best thing to do. You know, and if it doesn't say it on the cap, then look in the owner's manual or else maybe buy something from the store and, you know, a mechanic book or something. You can get them, pick them up in the auto parts store for, you know, various amounts of whatever different costs in your area. I'm going to use a filter because I'm not the most coordin not the most coordinated person in the world. This car takes five quarts. I could have turned the, the uh, container sideways, you know, and that does help and definitely does let some of that air in there and make things run a lot smoother. Don't forget to put the cap back on before you try to start the car. Sounds good. Going to let it run for about two minutes. Then I'm going to go outside and I'm going to look underneath the car and I'm going to check it to uh, see if there's any leaks and check around that um, around the oil filter. All right, down here just taking a look underneath the car to see if I see any oil leaks. And uh, I'm not seeing any. I'm looking particularly right in this area, right on the other side of that um, is the uh, oil plug, but I do not see no oil leaking anywhere and it looks nice and dry, so it looks good. Let's go check the filter on top. Alright, now we're up here on top, we're looking at the filter, the new filter we put in, we're looking at that cap, and it looks pretty good. I actually see a little bit of moisture. But I don't see any fresh trails, so no fresh leaks. I think that's whenever I pulled off the, uh, whenever I took the cap off, whenever I was changing it. So looks everything looks good, but just to make sure, I'll check it again in a few minutes. Alrighty. Well, that's it for the oil video. So that's uh, the way I change my oil, and um, like I mentioned before, that's the way I do it, not necessarily the way. You should do it the way I'm telling you to or anything like that. That's just the way I do it inside my garage. And, um, I don't know, just don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And, um, I don't know, leave me a comment down below. Um, tell me what you thought of the video. And, uh, maybe I forgot something. Maybe there's a different way you do it. Um, let me know. And, I don't know, just remember, be safe, but have fun. All right, this is Uncle Mike, 671. And be watching for the next video. See you soon.